hello everyone welcome to altrix tutorials in this video we are going to see the three most important tools in the data preparation tab of altrix the first tool that we are going to see is the unique tool as the name suggests unique is used to distinguish that whether a data record is unique or if it is duplicate by grouping on one or more specified fields then uh, it sorts those fields so if you want some of the fields to be unique then you can simply check it using this unique tool that whether the particular field or particular column is actually containing unique values or not. So how can we use it? Let's just get this tool. Uh, just like the filter tool we have used, the unique tool also has three anchors. One is the anchor where it gets the data. The next two anchors are the unique and the duplicate anchors. As you can see, the U and the D. So it basically shows you that uh, which of the values are unique and which of them are not. Okay. Now this is the configuration panel from where you can just select the values. Like I would select the customer name. I want to check that if the customer is returning to me or not. So if I just click on run, then okay, I'm getting uh, some of the unique values. So there are 409 records where the customer name is unique. So there are 409 unique customers. I'm also getting duplicates. That means the customers we have are the returning customers. And now all of these values are grouped together as the customer name. Like first you can see Aaron Bergman. So the customer, uh, whatever purchases the customer has made is being grouped together by his name. Then by the uh, second customer, third customer and so on. Okay, so these are the unique customers. The total of 409 customers are there and they're returning to me again and again to purchase a total of a 10,000 uh, record items. Okay, so this is what the unique tool helps us to understand about the data. Now, uh, you have applied it on one field, but if you want, you can apply it on multiple fields. Like for the category also, I want to apply. Then click on run. Now, what will happen is uh, we would be getting the unique values for uh, the combination of both right so now the in the unique value over here the total of 1136 records have been displayed the customer name uh, if they have purchased from each of these categories right so in the category there are these three categories furniture office supplies and technology and the customer name as you can see is same for the three and the remaining are the duplicates which means the customer has made another purchase in the same category of the items so this is the usage of the unique tool okay now let's move on to the next tool that is the imputation tool now what is the imputation tool imputation tool is used to replace a specified value uh, within one or more numeric data fields with another specified value so basically it's used that if your data is inconsistent and contains some of the null values then what you can do is actually clean the data set so you can replace the null values with either the average of the values of that particular column or um, basically with any value that you want. Okay, so let's just get the imputation tool to get a better look at how it works over here. So here uh, you would get the fields which you want to impute. Now only the numeric fields would be there because that's uh, what we get for the imputation tool. Now what value you want to replace? If there are null values, you can replace those null values. But if the null values are not present, then you can use a user specified value. Next we have is the replace with value. That is with which value you want to replace it. So average, that means average of all values, not including the incoming values to replace. Okay, so basically the values that are already existing, those average would be taken and that would be replaced in place of null values. We have a median value that is the value separating the higher half from the lower half or the middle value. We have the mode value that uh, the value that appears most often or if you want to use a specified value that you want to replace that you can do okay so what i'm gonna do is actually just work for the um, quantity part over here since i know that my data set is clean it has no null values so i'm just going to check a user specified value of seven and i'm going to specify another value for it that is going to be eight okay that's a minor change that i'm just going to do of course, it would be undone because it has no meaning. It's just to show you the usage of this tool. Next, we have these two checkboxes that is include imputed value in the indicator field. That means there would be a field that would be added to specify whether or not a value has been imputed or 
you want to output the imputed value in a separate field that means the original field would be as it is but in a separate field the value would be outputted the imputed value okay so first of all let's just select the first option and run it to see how it works here it would take few seconds and then let's just see if it has worked for the quantity so now here we can see that um, it's eight and the quantity indicator is showing one that means the change has been made over here and on the rest of the values it's showing zero again it's showing one that means the value was originally seven but now it has been changed to eight so this is how the imputed uh, value indicator field works next option is the output imputed values as a separate field so we can just select this option and click on run now what would happen is uh, we would be getting a separate value in which the quantity value original field would be as it is like here it was seven but in the new values the field would uh, new field the values would be eight over here from seven it changed to eight so this is how the imputation works but uh, if the null values are present on your data or if you want to replace of any of the values numeric values only then you can use this imputation tool right uh, now last but not the least we have the multi field binning tool now what is this tool it is actually uh, used to replicate some of the functionality of the tile tool okay um, basically it allows the data to be binned on multiple fields uh, mainly it is used for the predictive tool set multi field binning tool accepts only the numeric fields just like the imputation tool we have just seen uh, for the purpose of pinning we can pin the fields either uh, in the form of the equal records or equal intervals so what is a bin uh, if you just take a look at a histogram let's just bring up a histogram here right so this is a histogram and as you can see it shows the salary and the number of the players so 0 to 10 is actually an interval 10 to 20 is an interval right so this is called a bin histogram is depicted using bins and in order to create those bins we are going to use the multi field binning tool in altrix so let's see how it works uh, let's just get this over here and it would get all the numeric fields i'm going to do it on the basis of the sales the number of the tiles or the bins that you want to create so i want to create it 10 uh, tiles or the 10 bills now we have uh, two options either equal records or equal intervals equal records what it says that the input records are divided into the specified number of bins each bin is assigned to uh, assign the same number of records okay so the number of records would be equal in each bin um, then we have equal intervals that means the minimum and the maximum values of the selected fields are determined and the records are assigned based upon these ranges so if we uh, go with equal intervals that would be like more appropriate to get a varied length of the histogram then you can click on run so after a few seconds you would be getting this field uh it's on the basis of sales right uh here is the field uh sales style num so what is the tile number uh, right now it's one and as you can see this one has a um, higher sales value of 1706 that's why it's been assigned to tile two and just like this if you just scroll over it you will get some other numbers as well so it's one two one and two and that was five over here it has a higher range of six thousand that's why it's been given a number five so just like this uh, we have binned our sales records if we just get it into equal number of records and click on run so uh, the records would be given two different bins uh, equally like as you can see the different bins have been assigned the different bins have been assigned to each of these sales values okay so uh, as we have specified 10 so uh, the 10 tiles have been created and the maximum of a thousand tiles we can create so any number between 1 to 999 is acceptable so this is the function of the multi-field binning tool and these are all the major tools that you need to know about in the preparation group in altrix 
that's all for this video and that's all for the preparation tools in Altrix. In the next video, we would be looking at the other group, which is the join group. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.